Hey, how you doing? It's Marty from Aphone Intercom. I just want to go over the features and functionality of the uh, iX Soft and um, basically uh, give you a tutorial on how to use it. This is a, a user uh, end user video for someone that has this on their desk and they're not sure how to use it. It's not an installation video. All right, so what you're looking at here is uh, the basic interface of uh, iX Soft. iX Soft is a software made by Aphone that allows you to use your PC or laptop as the master station for the system. You can have as many iX Softs in the system as you like and you can communicate throughout your company uh, to masters or door stations. So I'm going to uh, minimize the application and we'll show you how it looks on your computer uh, when you uh, need to use the system. All right. All right. So you're working in your PC, uh, doing Excel or what have you, and somebody rings the bell. Um, it pops up on your uh, PC automatically. You could see who's at the door. Hello. And um, if you want to answer the door, you simply hit this icon here. Now, this allows the audio and video to go back and forth. If you decide you don't want to talk to the person, uh, you can just literally end the conversation by hitting this button here. Um, if you want to record the video and audio for some reason, uh, you can hit the record button and that will allow the recording to start. Um, this icon here shows you that there's one person calling in. If another door station calls in, there would be a two or a three or a four, depending on how many people are calling in. And you can click on that and then decide who you want to speak to. This icon here allows you to uh, play with the uh, brightness on your screen. This is the volume, um, the speaker volume, and this is the ringtone volume. All right. So I want to answer the door. So I'm going to hit this. I'm muting it over here so we don't get any feedback. And I wanted to let the person in. So I just literally hit the unlock door button. It says door open. And that lets the person in. Now, let's say, for instance, the person wants to speak to somebody else in your company. You can transfer the call. So I'm going to hit transfer. And now it comes up with all the stations in your uh, system. Can't transfer it to a door, but you can transfer to a, a master station. So let's say he wants to talk to the main security guard. So I'll click on that and I'll hit transfer call. So now um, the person in uh, the main guard station first floor answers it. Now you're speaking with them and you can actually see them and uh, uh, talk with them and when you hang up the call literally hangs up on yours and comes up on the master that you're transferring it to so all you have to do is hang up and the call transfers automatically all right so now this is your basic interface um basically um if you want you can um page from the station and let's say I want to page everybody. I hit page and I just simply hit page. Hello, this is a test of the paging system. So you can page like that and just talk into your laptop or a desktop and it pages. Or you can hit page and let's say you want to do an all page, but you want to do a pre recorded message that you can make right on the system. You go down here. And you pick your pre-recorded message. I'm going to do this test emergency broadcast and hit page. Okay, so um, as I said, you can page using this uh, tab over here. Um, and you can also monitor. So right now I have only two door stations, a front and back door. And if I want to monitor the front door, I just select it and hit monitor. And I'm monitoring the front door. Hello. Uh, now, if you want to scan between monitors, let's say you're going to your car and you want to make sure no one is uh, lurking in the hallways, you can set up cameras, uh, our stuff, or you can use third-party cameras um, that are on VIF compatible. Um, and I've already set it up, and I set it up here in settings, uh, user, um, monitoring. 
So you hit monitoring and you can add stations. At this point, I only have two stations in my um, demo kit, so I, I won't be able to add one. But you just simply hit add, check the one you want to add, and click OK. That one's already there, so I don't need to add it. And then hit apply. So now when you hit scan monitor, it's going to pull up the front door. Hello. And five seconds later, it's going to pull up the back door. Hello. So uh, that's how monitoring works. So um, basically, um, again, when you're using the system, um, that is uh, how you can use the capability of um, monitoring. I uh, shut it off real quick, so I'm just going to bring it back up. So uh, let's see. You got your monitor. Um, and in settings, you could set um, who you want to monitor and how long. So right here, you have 60 seconds worth of monitoring. You can set it for whatever you want. I think up to 10 minutes or infinite. And scan or dwell time, that's how long it's going to sit on one particular uh, video. All right. Um, dial. Uh, if you know the person's extension that you want to dial, you just simply type it in and hit the call button and it'll dial out. Address book, uh, you've got all your units. Let's say you've got a really large system with uh, you know hundreds of people in your uh, address book. If you want to just look at the units in Canada, you can just start typing Canada and it'll look at the location. And, um, and then uh, let's say I'll put the US in and I got two units there. So you can search for who you want to call. Uh, you've got the capability of recording history. You can see the incoming calls, the outgoing calls, if you've missed any calls. And if you hit the recording button, you can also check out the recordings. Here's one I made uh, a couple of days ago. I'll play that real quick. So that's uh, an IXEA door station from a phone, and that's a little recording that's in the history. Um, you go back. Um, favorites. Uh, here's your favorites. Um, then a status. Uh, we'll tell you um, if everything is up and uh, what's wrong. The guard backup I have set up to have inputs and outputs. So right now, if I go, what's wrong with the system, my inputs aren't really set up. So it checks inputs, outputs, checks the microphone and speakers. So everything else is passed. Um, my guard is still working except for the inputs, which um, I'm not utilizing. So um, that shows you um, what's passed and what's failed. And then um, settings. Uh, an important thing for a end user is if they're going to lunch or something and they want to transfer, uh, what you can do is um, you literally um, go into settings and you hit transfer. Uh, you have an absent transfer, a delay transfer, or a scheduled transfer. Absent transfer is if you're just going to lunch or you're, you know, going out in the middle of the day uh, unexpectedly and you want to transfer it to somebody. A delay transfer is if the unit rings five or six times in your desk and you haven't answered it. You want it to transfer to someone else. You can transfer it up to 20 different people. And a scheduled transfer is, let's say, you don't work Mondays and Wednesdays. So you automatically transfer the calls on Monday and Wednesdays to selected locations. So let's say I want to um, transfer to two different locations. I'm going to go to absent transfer. And as you see, mine is already set up for main guard, first floor. And I'm going to add um, the backup guard as well. So you go to edit. And here's my backup guard. You hit OK. And you hit apply. So your settings are applied, and I'm going to close this. So now, um, if I ring the doorbell, um, it comes up on your system. Hello, how you doing? You can talk to the person, unlock the door, and hang it up. Now, if I hit transfer and press the doorbell button, it doesn't ring on your unit. It rings on the other uh, two units that are uh, remote. And um, that's basically the interface of um, the, the system. So I hope this was helpful. And uh, we also have a map feature, which I'll go over in another video, which is absolutely incredible. You can actually manage a uh, entire uh, network or campus. So I can go to a, 
place on the uh, map. I can literally go to the second floor, third floor. I can go back to the campus map, uh, and you can call right from there. So if I go, oh, I want to talk to the first floor, I want to talk to the front door, I can just hit this button. But again, this is a very, very rich featured functionality, and uh, it's time for another video. But uh, I hope this was informative, and uh, enjoy using the iPhone. Thank you.